Returning to my Coin Lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. The plans that BlackRock has for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin are very astonishing. The crazy part is that this was obvious from the start, and now we're going to be discussing it. When the BlackRock ETF for Bitcoin finally passed muster and began trading in January of this year, everyone was ecstatic because they believed it was the end. The sky is the limit for Bitcoins. Everything you need is right here. There is a 50% global share held by BlackRock. Bitcoin is being brought up by its CEO. You must still believe in Bitcoin's potential, right? Be sure to get up before the sun goes down. But I believe we need to get a clue about what's going on here. Consider this, would you agree? Given that BlackRock has influence over half of the global population, why else would Bitcoin be under their control? Given their influence, shouldn't they have authority over cryptocurrency? On a worldwide basis, cryptocurrency is still a small asset class. Big names like BlackRock may easily dominate this market, particularly Bitcoin. I mention this because there is a persistent tendency in this area to hail companies like BlackRock, which were once seen negatively, as positive forces. Crypto was intended to be a safe haven for these trader and big money types, wasn't it? A company like BlackRock is too huge for us to mess with. How about we create a market and an asset class that have nothing to do with BlackRock and other major players? Then, out of nowhere, Bitcoin maxis and crypto investors embrace these huge firms. To be in this market where these names are the only ones being considered is absolutely insane to me. Plus, they're rejoicing regardless of Larry Fink's or BlackRock's claims. Digital currency is being promoted by BlackRock. Uncorrelated results need its inclusion in portfolios, according to Hard's CEO. The fact that he compares it to a flight from collapsing currencies and a system that will collapse in the end, debasing currencies and crashing markets, is fascinating to me. Then why are we getting ready for a big crash right now? That is something I have been saying for some time now. I think 2025 is going to be a rough year, and it's not only because mainstream media is heavily advertising Bitcoin, which is causing a lot of people to feel compelled to buy the cryptocurrency. Keep in mind that their goal is for you to purchase their ETF. Not only is the ETF profitable for them, but Bitcoin itself is as well. Assuming Bitcoin is moving up in value, they stand to gain. And it's ironic, because I get the impression that some people here still don't understand. I said that the wealthy don't give you advice on how to get wealthy on national television. Instead of capitalizing on the space's true potential, they want you to turn your fear of missing out, FOMO, into an asset that will enrich them at the expense of you. Bitcoin will not lead to financial independence, I don't know who else has to say it. Find out where the big bucks are going by doing your own investigation. Two important stories to keep an eye on are RWA tokenization and AI. Please, don't. Captivated by the absurdity. The powerful don't give a hoot about you, so reason with them. All they want is money from you. Even if we return to this post from January 13th, keep in mind that Larry Fink brought up tokenization. The initial post is this. This quotation comes from one component of the financial market's technological transformation is exchange-traded funds ETFs. Tokenizing all monetary assets is the second stage. Unlike Bitcoin, every fiat currency in circulation will have its value tokenized on the blockchain. And I will say it again, I will not be the one to help get these assets tokenized or to trade them. If you add together BlackRock, Grayscale, Microsoft G, and Faithfulness, you'll see that wall. Street has surpassed Binance in Bitcoin holdings. Binance has maintained its 90% share of the exchange pricing owing to its global market share in Bitcoin futures and spot volume, and now they must control this dominance in price. The price is being controlled in this arms race. Bitcoin sales by Binance to Wall Street and sovereign states are within the realm of possibility, if not already underway, in my view. The fact that CZ is stepping down is the most bizarre part of this. Had the handover of power to Wall Street and BlackRock been an intended outcome from the start? Simply put, major entities like BlackRock and Fidelity hold a large portion of Bitcoin. This is something to keep in mind. This list has already been discussed with you. 
September 20th was the most recent change to this. With Satoshi excluded, the top 13 Bitcoin holders in the United States represent around 13% of the total supply. Even more bizarre is the fact that Coinbase is not included in this list, the non-US portion, excluding Satoshi, amounts to approximately 8.4%. This implies that Wall Street now controls about 8.3%. Just why does that matter? The top 10 Bitcoin holders are presented below. Those 8 hours have passed. Taking a look at this, Coinbase currently has more than a million Bitcoin, alright. 1 trillion 51 billion 650 million plus 51,650. In particular, Bitcoin. BlackRock Fidelity, Grayscale, MicroStrategy, Robinhood, and the amount under US government control are all acceptable when added together. Currently, BlackRock is exposed to players that control a substantial percentage of Bitcoin. I have discussed MicroStrategy stock with men. Coinbase and BlackRock are two of the largest institutional investors in cryptocurrency. Pay attention to the major participants outside of the well-known brands, such as Coinbase, BlackRock State Street, Vanguard, and others, because they hold substantial percentages. For instance, Vanguard holds 8.7% and BlackRock 5.4%. The amount of Bitcoin that BlackRock controls is irrelevant. Determine who controls the companies that hold a majority of Bitcoin and examine their ownership structure. We will address the fact that BlackRock controls Coinbase shortly. I would like to play this video by Whitney Webb first, though. The beginning of this year is relevant here. More than ever before, this makes a statement. The viewer's presence here is greatly appreciated. Bye for now, and please subscribe and like my channel.